story to people. You look at them, there's lots of weird gadgets inside, it's fenced off like a prison yard, and you're really not sure exactly what its purpose is. So today, I'm meeting up with our foreman, Colby Scholes, and he's gonna give us kind of a walkthrough of a substation, kind of give us an outline of exactly how it works, and talk about transformers and breakers. We'll also meet up with Lou Fullerton, who's actually doing some maintenance here at Rack Substation today. Substation is part of the electrical generation, transmission, and distribution system. Within the city, we have 11 substations. Every substation is set up to service a certain area. They're all um, what we like to call loop fed, so we can back feed from sub to sub to minimize outages and so we can pull maintenance on lines without disruption to the customer. The ability to change or transform power voltage is essential to distributing and transmitting electric power. The substation brings a high voltage in on the high side of the transformer. Um, at this current substation, it's 46 kV coming in. And then it transforms the voltage down to a 12470 that will go through the breakers and out to the line to the household where another transformer is hung to bring it to residential power. It's a spider web as soon as it leaves the substation to get to all the residences and um, commercial buildings. Circuit breakers at a substation play a key role in protection of the infrastructure, such as the electrical wire. But the main job for the breaker at the substation is to protect the transformer. The breaker breaks load, disconnects the line. They have relays that uh, tell it a tripping point. If it goes over an amperage value that is set by our engineers, it'll open and cut power. This is the main breaker and it's part of protection for the transformer. And once it comes through the main breaker, then it goes on to a main main bus and then it goes into the feeder breakers for each circuit going to households and those breakers have relays to dictate a fault. Today Colby and Lou are out at the rack substation testing the integrity of the circuit breakers. I am uh, checking the integrity of our breakers. Uh, the breaker on the line would be like a breaker in, in your house, just bigger, handles more voltage, and we're uh, checking the integrity to make sure that it operates correctly and the power flows through it correctly. It's our only real way to know if uh, we have anything going wrong. Um, we do this oh, approximately every five years, and uh, yeah, it, it's highly important because it's a pretty expensive piece of equipment to have fail and replace and not only that uh, it would uh, let our customers down if they didn't have their power. There are two types of transformers. A transformer can step down voltage which is usually done to distribute power to homes and businesses. If you're generating power like we do here at Idaho Falls Power, the transformer can step up the voltage to move it out onto the main transmission line. How much different is this transformer than the one that these people see out in their backyards? Um, this one is a lot larger to carry the ampacity. You're taking all the homes inside the substation and transforming it one place versus just the small amount of amperage needed at the house. These being the generation transformers, they come in at a 4160 and step up to 46 kV. And that's only when you're pushing power back onto the, the 46? Yep, from the generation. So that would, and so that's when we generate, whatever we generate, it goes back out that we either sell or we need to... Sell or we use to provide for our customers. Due to the high voltage of electricity coming in and out of the sub, which is really dangerous, safety and security measures are put into place to keep our technicians safe while working and deter people from coming inside the sub. That is here inside a substation, 
there's a ground mat underneath us that keeps us at a step potential. So if you touch something, you're not getting shocked. Um, that ground grid um, carries a current a lot of the time. And that's why it's dangerous to come in and steal copper and all that. It, it is a deadly consequence to try and steal copper. All of our subs are monitored by camera 24 hours a day that goes back to our dispatch center. Um, the security lights are on a motion detector with an alarm so that if there's any movement inside the substation, um, it alerts the dispatcher or the operator to zoom in the camera and see what's going on. Yes, we had a guy out at Sugar Mill seven months ago, and by the time he jumped the fence, the cops were already there. So our, our security cameras work and our personnel work really well. I hope that after this video, you have a better appreciation or at least an understanding of substations. At least when you drive by them, you won't just think, oh, what's that? But next time you'll think, wow, there's a substation. Thanks for giving me power.